Hello everybody, my name is Jacob with MustContainMinis.com and today we're looking at some World War II miniatures by Wargames Atlantic. Specifically, we're looking at the Partisans French Resistance models. This kit comes with enough parts to build 32 miniatures. Now let's take a closer look at the sprue. The parts on the sprue are nicely cast and they look pretty crisp. Off the top, we can see 14 different models of heads. Some of them have caps, some of them have no hats. Whatever you go with, they look pretty good. Heading down to the bottom of the sprue, we see that it comes with four different bodies. In between is a variety of guns that you can arm your resistance fighters with. Looking at the Wargames Atlantic product page, which I'll link to in the description below, I see a list of the guns that are actually on the sprue. You get rifles, grease guns, MP38s or 40s, Bren guns, stun guns, grenades, pistols, and more. Now let me build up a few of these and come back to you. Clipping the parts off of the sprue and cleaning them up was a very simple task. Here I put them together in the, about the way I wanted to build them. I had the left and right hands for each body and a semblance of an idea of how I wanted to put them together. Now let's take a look at these miniatures when they were completed. Without paint, these miniatures look fantastic. The expressions on the face and the poses on their body, even though they're very easy to assemble. Look awesome. I really like how characterful these miniatures appear. While the aim of these miniatures would clearly be for a World War II miniatures game, they would find themselves right at home in a zombie apocalypse game or even in a gangsters game. Now looking at the miniatures, you might figure out other uses for them as well. I have to say I really like these figures. Now I'm not sure about you, but when it comes to World War II miniatures, my main collection currently is by Warlord Games. So let's take a look at how they scale up against each other. In this lineup, all of the miniatures by Wargames Atlantic remain unpainted, while the ones by Warlord Games are painted. You can see that they line up pretty good. The Warlord Games figures have a little bit more of a heroic look and feel to them, but I really, really like these new Wargames Atlantic miniatures. Thank you very much for joining me in this quick review. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. You can also check out mustcontainminis.com. Until next time, happy gaming everyone.